Initially, Sherman went along with the Lincoln administration's policy of respecting the right of non-combatants, issuing receipts for destroyed or confiscated property in the misguided belief that support was shallow among the common people for the new Confederacy. If the federal government treated Southerners leniently, they reasoned, then loyalty to the United States would simply reassert itself. But as the United States Army advanced deeper into the South, the white population became even more determined to resist. Many civilians defied federal authority by smuggling medicine through Union lines, bushwhacking U.S. soldiers, and harboring guerrillas. The war was no longer a fight strictly between armies where the lines between combatants and non-combatants was clear. Indeed, it took on many of the characteristics of the type of insurgency waged during the 20th and 21st centuries in places like Vietnam and Iraq and Afghanistan. And I think this is one of the areas where Sherman really and his legacy has not really been explored. We talk a lot about the march to the sea, was it an innovation, was it modern war? But Sherman dealing with what we would call today an insurgency and his attempts at counterinsurgency, something that would be incredibly relevant to modern America after what we've been through in the Middle East is an area that I think is ripe for historians to explore. 